Yeah. I, I haven't. I knew, but yes. uh, they might not know. <laughs> they might not know. But we'll find out. All right. Immediately. Oh, they, oh is that? Yeah. Uh, yeah they meant to ban. Yeah. Oops. I thought you could ban with random, but apparently no, you, can't you can't anymore. You used to be able to, but not our... Took it out to can't. deal with PK Anti. <laughs> <laughs> PK Anti's too strong. Yeah. Like, he's not, it's not fair. He just randoms everything, and it's you can well, never predict it. He actually... I played him at Frostbite, and I was going through my stage vans. I'm like, you're just going to pick random after this. And he's just like... He just yeah. bans Tempest and then picks random. You know what? <laughs> it's That's just fair. Like, That's fair. <laughs> That's respectable. <laughs> That's a decent play, honestly. That's really funny. It's top level. It is top level. Cause you know Australia just has uh, Tempest banned out, right? You just really? Can't it. Yeah. That's crazy. I uh, I was, disagree uh, with that, but we gotta yeah. get into the Either set way, now. Yeah, we can't the... talk about our opinions. We have to talk about objective <laughs> gameplay. We gotta play the video game. Yeah, and I can't complain about this matchup because I have to be objective. <laughs> Everything's fine. Yeah. Uh, this matchup, I assume, is not super good for Rana. So it really depends on how you approach it because on one hand, the disjoint is really annoying, especially when you're recovering. Mm. Like, Claren is probably the only character who can seriously hurt Rano off stage with his okay. amazing recovery. But in terms of not actual range, but burst slash threat yeah, burst. range. Rano is crazy at burst. Yeah, Rano is probably one of the few characters that can Ooh. match Claren. Oh god, that don't that almost <laughs> I don't know if that would have killed if that hit, but that was that was some spice there. We saw we saw Ooh, yeah. good time. That is something that you're also going to see a lot. Uh Rano edge guards Claren to hell edge. in this MU. Yep. Oh. No punish uh, off that. A little bit a little bit of spaghetti, that's fine. Yeah, he was trying to look for a kill confirm, but that can be tricky when you have uh, stacks on them off mm -hmm. of the bubble. That might be... Ooh, nope. just barely e eking out of that down smash. Good back air. Yeah, the, the B reverse there was really nice to get the positioning yeah. for the better aerial for neutral. Very even game so far. Oh, yeah, <laughs> and right as I said that. Okay. Yeah, you know that what? happens a lot. I'll just uh, I'll just zip right up there. But oh, there's and the Dacus. Raw Dacus, everyone's favorite back option ever. Game. Yeah. I'm still winning. <laughs> But yeah, both of these players are raw grab in neutral yeah. with the neutral B. I do not see that often. Yeah. It doesn't have parry stun, so yeah. it was safe, but I don't know if that's something I would have done. Yeah. I respect the hustle. It's Claren's one non disjointed move. Yeah. No, it's still disjointed. It is? Yes. That's gross. <laughs> that's, Anyways. Yeah. <laughs> unbiased, unbiased. Yeah. Either way, uh Fruit Loop's making a bit of a lead here. Uh, getting yeah. a lot of stacks off, but... Right I've as noticed I, that yeah. Fruit Loops definitely has the sort of... Uh, he's going for a lot of creative punishes, but he's not hitting them at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, he's but, playing... Oh, nice Dacus. <laughs> he was really hoping for <laughs> a roll there. For it, but he's playing a little bit more methodical than Derps is, who's kind of just throwing out aerials and seeing what sticks. Yeah, which, that Waveland was incredible for the recovery. He went mm -hmm. so far. Good wait and, on that. Ooh. Oh, kill confirm. I was, if I was in that position and I'm a high level player, I would have just plat drop bared like an idiot. Mm -hmm. But that was, he ended up not doing that and it yeah. ended up punishing him. That was a good parry bait and Fruit Loops bouncing back instantly with the double fair. Yeah, we've seen that both stocks so far. This, mm -hmm. been, this has definitely been a really even game. And I'm trying to get the Dacus again. Fruit Loops is going with it. <laughs> Something that I was going to mention is that with this MU, he really wants to keep hold of needles. Oh, oh good parry. Not too much of a punish, but being in disadvantage like this. Yeah, that's still a lot of percent, too. Because side yeah. B, sweet, does dummy. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's what I was talking about with like the creative punish game that I was yeah. looking for. That oh, he wasn't just getting earlier. In the bubble. Yeah, Fruit Loops is... Playing a little ah. bit more back. <laughs> that should have been enough smash. That would have killed. Mm. I was arguing Ooh. with Cam earlier because we both agree that that move is very not used enough. Yeah, it's it's a weird move to use. But it's very in scenario strong. In scenarios like those, it's really good. Oh, the Dacus again. Spacing himself it. right outside of that down tilt was the really good. The double roll? That was an ultimate player moment. That was that's just <laughs> how it is sometimes. Waiting for it. Yeah. And yeah, catching him with the Dacus. That's actually the one situation where, like, Raw Dacus can be really mm -hmm. good is when people are sort of pressured in the corner there, and it's like he didn't really know what to yeah. do to get out of there, and he went for jump because a lot of people go for jump. Derps had done the yeah. same thing just uh, last stock as well. Like, he mm -hmm. just waited for the panic parry and then went in, and then Fruit Loops bounced right back and got it on them as yeah. well. So I feel like, feel like that's a bit of balance to the, to the scenario. Yeah. And that's something with Rano's burst range that is like... Scary to deal with in this matchup because another thing is Claren lacks boxing options and like 
Mm -hmm. Clarion, oftentimes, you just kind of have to go back and then, like, press um, yeah. F tilt or down tilt or something like that. Yeah, you generally Not have to be, like, more read-based in neutral. And yeah. when you have, like, a, you know, it's super fast, like, ready to pounce at you at any moment character, that can be really difficult. Mm -hmm. Sort of, like, I guess, like, Fox from Melee sort of emulates that type of Ooh, gameplay. But that's dog. common in this game. And that was a really good come that... <laughs> don't, don't, oh we don't acknowledge that. A really good time. Oh my god. <laughs> we don't How acknowledge did you already do that. <laughs> we just started comms. Anyway. Alright. Besides uh, the point. Alright. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Anyways, uh Derp's kinda making a run or Derp's kinda getting steamrolled here by Fruit Loops. A very different game. Letting this, them go to Spirit Tree as well, which is, I know is a really good Rano stage. Yeah, that's the thing. This is like the number one Claren stage that every Claren goes to no matter what because of the plat the plat boost to neutral. But oh, just barely missing the bubble. I think that's dead. Yeah. Back when I had my old rivalry with Narga, I would always leave this stage unbanned because of what we saw earlier, the recovery mix-ups that Rano gets off just having that tiny little uh, he tried to hang off. <laughs> He's been doing that a lot. He's been pressing Dacus. Uh, it's got about a 50% effectiveness. It's working. 50 effect. 50% 50 of the time it works all the time. But exactly. But that's not all the time. Yeah. <laughs> nice parry there. I was expecting... Oh. oh. Another? Uh, not quite getting the last one. But... Oh, Derp's trying to eke out a down smash there. Bruno just, just keeps pressing Dacus. And we, getting... don't understand his, we don't understand the mind. <laughs> He wants it there, but I think... I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> like, at this point, it's this is a, like... This is a bit of a spaghetti fest, but it looks like Derps is kind of bringing this back. Good down smash. Yeah, that good was good because... Catch. I the... thought it was going to tipper, but it got the really bad DI because he was holding out for yeah, uh, just the dead. general DI. Oh, okay. Uh, Walking yeah. back a little bit, but still killing. Sometimes that just happens. Like, you get parried and you just assume that you're dead. So even Maybe if, like... You hold a direction yeah. and it's just whatever. Yeah. You forget that if Perry stun ends, oh wait, I can do something. <laughs> oh wait, I can press a button. Yeah. <laughs> I can live maybe. The down air. Oh. Yeah. That's this that oh. was a scary situation. Yeah, that was looking like Fruit Loops the end. Yeah. But I mentioned the recoveries earlier, but like Fruit Loops isn't really doing them a whole lot. And Derps yeah. is kind of just running with this smaller side stage by killing them super, super early. Or like earlier the most. Ooh! That was F-Smash that would have worked, but that was very close. Oh, oh that was an F-Smash that would have killed, it. yeah. Not quite. Waiting for the <laughs> waiting for another option out of yeah. Fruit Loops. Ooh. I don't know what happened there. I think they, they wanted up B2, up but they landed on the platform in between, yeah. yeah. Only so much you could do with that. Trying to get the grab. Very even last stock, last hit situation. Any one stray hit. Oh yeah, my God. I was gonna say this is around the time that you would see Fruit Loops go for a smash attack or Dacus or something because we've seen a lot of that. Oh, that's, that's it. it. Yeah, yep. tell F smash. The yep. good setup. Very very good setup. Solid hit from Dirk. Hit confirm. Yeah. Getting it, sealing it out. Game three here. We weren't seeing very many edge guards from uh, Fruit Loops that set, which uh -huh. like is definitely one of the size. Kind of the deciding factor of the whole matchup is just like the two of them have really strong advantages against each other. Hmm. And I'd say, kind of depending on the stage and the play style of the two players, the neutral can go either way. It's a little all over the place, honestly, especially with a matchup as volatile as this. But we're here at regular gate, regular old gates, the tried and true game three. Uh, Immediately, Fruit Loops is turning up the heat. Yeah, no, Fruit Loops is just suddenly looking a lot smoother. Like, oh, uh, unfortunate SD from Derbs. That's not good. With how close these games have been, that could decide the match right here. Yeah, I was going to say, like, that is not being out of it for sure, but it's not something you want to deal with when you've yeah. been going this close previously. Fruit Loops a full stock up now, just a little bit percent deficit, but. They're looking a lot faster all of a sudden. Yeah, no, this has definitely been like some sort of UI moment or like, <laughs> they're just like suddenly- they, They've awoken. Yeah, they're... now they will do work. Like, <laughs> now he will try. <laughs> the full stacks off stage, still a whole stock and a half up. That Waveland, he's Ooh, done that twice. Good I... smash, killing just barely. That was really tight DI. 
I am going to steal those wavelands for sure because those are really good. <laughs> I'll blame it. Down tilt back is just barely messing too high a percent. And Durfs needs to make something happen right now if he wants to get this back. Oh my god! That's that's the start of something! Yeah. That's looking pretty good. He didn't get too much off it, but it looks really cool. Yeah, <laughs> and it's still leading to more and more advantage, which is like... Oh my god, that side B was almost really, really good. This game is difficult to commentate. It's so fast yeah, all this, of a sudden. This, like. game, this game went from like back and forth, like methodical to immediately like explosive, just killing. Things are happening, and I'm loving it. Oh, up smash! There you go. Not, Not quite, quite the here. tipper, but we're, this is an even yeah. game now. We were talking about earlier how this is a full stock up for Fruit Loops because he SD'd, but Dirt is yeah. bringing this back slowly. Yeah, this is definitely not undoable, but good catch, yeah. down smash. Oh, not quite. He wants this kill too badly. The weight? Oh, just barely Still missing, missing the, tipper. the tippers. That's like, I know that's one that's of the crucial. most difficult confirms to hit as Claren. But oh, good side beat. But he's going bubble. to go into the bubble. To the, yeah. Do it again. The up beat the off tipper, the top? That's, that's really that. hard to DI yeah. there, yeah. Do You had to DI down and out and pray. That yeah. was really tight. Good parry. Oh, oh. No. Not like this. Please he's alive. Don't. He's alive. Yeah, he's fine, but oh my god. <laughs> I don't know why you wouldn't just go for tongue there. I think, I don't think there's a mix-up to be afraid of once he's lost his jump and air dodge. But it was tough, yeah. Either way, he's still might also be a bit of nerves because this is this is a tight last stock, last hit. Yeah, and for this to be a round one, like this is scary. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be scared if this is this close. Same here. Oh, good catch. I think that was meant to be. Ooh, oh God, we saw one. this earlier, but. Oh, he tried to go for another one. He just barely missed it. This is... He wants it so bad. And I respect it. <gasps> Good. The... Oh, my God. <laughs> Heart attacks are had. He's levitating like HBox right now, just yelling. <laughs> what the hell was that? That was just on the ledge that caught it. Oh, down was... air. Down air again. Ooh. I think he should have gone for fair there, looking for the down air. Was a bit greedy. Oh, oh, the bad DI. Unfortunately, God. just barely catching it out. Fruit Loops right. taking it by the goddamn wire. That was a really good opening set for the pool. Yeah, that was really solid, actually. <laughs> what, a, a what a heart stopper that was. <laughs> Lots of twists and turns. If Derp's didn't SD there, that would have been probably his game. He was he was turning up at the end just as much as Fruit Loops was. Yeah. The two of them really just like got a lot better as time went on. And mm -hmm. it's like, I mean, I guess that's to be expected from round one. But yeah. An interesting way to see it end, but... That's just how it is sometimes. That's how it, that's how it be in the Rivals tournament. Experience you gotta, you gotta start somewhere. I, w I would like to say in between rounds, I've been doing a lot of commentary for Ultimate at my locals, and mm -hmm. this is a much harder game to commentate oh, yeah. due to how uh, fast it is. This like, game is explosive. One second, the enemy will just be like a stock and a half down, and the next, it'll just be, they'll be dead. Yeah. Right then and there. And there's just so much like movement happening that's like, Usually in Ultimate, I can like tell you why they're doing this, and it's like I could, but by the time <laughs> that I've done it, it's like they're already in another already position. Gone. Like yeah, it's like you have to be like immediately back and forth. You have to be very quick with it, and a knowledge of the game is very much required for this as well, because good commentary revolves around knowledge, believe it or not. 